The final stage in this sample graphic organizer is going to be to insert shapes or text boxes surrounding our main idea. So what we're going to do is go back over to the insert menu and you can choose to either insert another shape or you can just draw a standard text box. I'm going to use a rounded rectangle and just like we inserted the oval I'm going to start in a corner and I'm going to click and drag until I get the size that I want and then I'm going to go over to where it says edit text and I'm going to type in the text that I want to add and if you can't see this we're going to just go over to the view menu and zoom in a little bit and we're going to type in the word detail and then we're going to go over to our home tab use our alignment tools you can adjust the size again if you want now instead of repeating this process another three times to finish our graphic organizer we're going to cheat a little and what we're going to do is click on this box so that it's highlighted and when you're on the border of it and you have those four arrows you're going to right click on it I'm going to click copy and then we're going to right click somewhere else on our screen and click paste and then if you move your box and then we're going to come down and do the same thing we've already copied it we don't need to copy it again right click and paste adjust that where we want it right click and paste adjust that where we want it okay now we're going to go back up so we can get a better idea of what this looks like and you can move things around if you don't like the placement of it you can adjust your arrows by clicking on them and adjusting the size, adjusting where they've landed on your box. If you want to play around with the colors and you know make this a little more eye appealing for your students, you can click on any of these text boxes that you have here. And when you click on one of them so that they're highlighted, you're going to get that drawing tool section over here. And then you can go over to your shape fill and you can choose a shape color. If you want to, you know, do one of the standard colors, you can pick one of those. You can also adjust the, the color of the outline of it. The shape outline you can choose from all the different colors as well. The weight refers to the thickness, so if you wanted to choose a different thickness, you could do that. So you can play around with all the various features and change any of the, the boxes in the way that you want. But this is essentially how you would build a very simple graphic organizer just using some of the basic shape tools, text tools, text manipulation, and formatting tools. Once you're done with your graphic organizer, you should save it. Save it like you would do anything else. Go to File, Save As. If you're working from home, you can save it to wherever you normally would save. If you're working from school, you could save it to your L drive. Save it. Give it a name. And once you've saved it, you're going to upload it into Moodle so that I can view it. And you can watch in the top section if you're not sure how to upload how to upload your final document